Okay, so high knees next. So high knees, hands up in front, bring those knees up. The heart rate heart rate going again. Again, for being out, you do it slowly up and down with those knees. to go. Next one we are going to do, we're going to do the reverse curl on our mats we've done the other night, one of my favourites. <coughs> Hands on your side, starting off straight leg, bend those knees, pushing that upper body up off the floor, straighten out those legs and push it up again. Or if you're a beginner, you're doing it that way, okay? But we're used to doing it. Then you're bringing those knees in the chest as much as you can. You can kick those legs up in the air if you want to really push yourself. Next exercise, we have eight to go. It is a plank, straight hand plank. In a position, hands directly to the shoulders. You can do this on the knees if you're a beginner. And we're gonna do some shoulder taps. Tapping that shoulder. Keeping that core nice and tight. Grab over the arms, grab over the core. Keeping that core nice and tight. Keep a straight line from shoulder to hip. And cut next exercise, seven left. We're gonna do walkouts on the hands. This is a great mobility exercise. Trying to keep those legs straight and going all the way down to the floor onto the hands. I'm gonna walk out into plank position. And then I'm gonna walk all the way back to the start, trying to keep those legs straight if I can. All the way down, trying not to bend the knees, all the way back up. We're going for the arms, all the way down, all the way back up, all the way down, all the way back up. Get them into straight hand plank position each time, all the way down, all the way back up, all the way down, all the way back up, all the way down. All the way back up, and one more all the way down, and all the way back up. Next exercise. Six left. Squat jumps. So, great one. Squat jumps. Down. If you're not used to doing it, do some squats like that for me up and down, feet shoulder width apart. If you're used to doing squat jumps, do some squat jumps for me. Down in squat position, don't let the knees go under the tools. And a big jump. So next exercise, we are going to do a reverse plank. Another one of my favourites, great one for the core, great for those triceps, 
pushing those hips up and holding from there, keeping that core nice and tight. Really feel this on the arms, the shoulders. You're gonna feel it in the triceps. Nearly there. Last few. Again, take it easy. Modify these exercises. If you're a beginner, if you haven't done it before, take it nice and slow. Every exercise can be done nice and slowly or modified with the planks on the knees. With some of the other exercises, say the squat jump, just do the squat lunges, take them nice and slow. This one, for example, modified version, bend the knees, a little bit easier. Less time, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, as I said at the start. Next exercise, nearly there. So, four to go. We're gonna do some super squats next. So I'm gonna turn those feet out to the side, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna work those quads, hands out in front, all the way down, and back up. So you're working the inside of the quad here. Again, as I said earlier on, if you want to add weights to it, you can. I didn't tonight because just to show you that, you get a great workout with no equipment whatsoever. Just using body weight. All the way down to so those knees are 90 degrees. Keeping that back straight. So, three left. We are going to do some early abs next. Early abs. Putting the elbows directly beneath the shoulders and we are going to push those up, push those elbows up off the floor and bring those knees into the chest, elbows down towards the floor, bring the knees in, straighten out the legs each time. Arnie abs, called after the main man himself, Arnie. He invented this exercise which probably 50 kilo weights between his feet, and say when he's doing them. But we're doing tonight without any weights, just using body weight. Really feeling that one on the abs, the core. You're going to feel it on the legs as well. Bring those knees in as much as you can each time. And next exercise, two to go. So we're going to do some fast lunges, nice and quick, again if you're a beginner, do them slower, so give myself a bit of room, I'm just going to hop in and out like that, fast reverse lunges. Nearly there, one left after this. Last exercise, we're going to do another set of push ups. If you're not used to doing them, just do your normal push ups. If we're used to doing them, I'm going to do some push ups called stagger push ups where my hands are in different positions, working different parts of my chest muscle. On the knees, or off the knees, I'm gonna do them. Off the knees, changing hand position each time. One arm, one hand forward, one hand back. Really working those chest muscles. You can do it on the knees as well. And that's it. Workout over. Great workout. If you want to really push yourself, do it twice, two sets. I'm going to do the other set now. And make sure you do your stretches at the end 
I put up the stretches in some of the other workouts, but I'm going to stick up during the week, maybe 10 minutes of a stretching routine. And then, what is that going to put up some beginner's platters? If you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to do for you, what type of workouts you want to do, throw them at me because it's going to be a long couple of weeks ahead, so we need to keep the minds and the bodies active. Thanks for being for all your comments, and talk to you soon.